All right. I'm in position on the runway. Uh -huh. Be there momentito, Manfrito. It's no problemo. By the way, Voodoo is totally fine, easy to use. Um, that was just a short, um, short piece of that uh, leg, so we can ignore that. Hey. I should know my way. Go. I follow you. That's good. You tell me when you're ready, and then uh, I'll start the. Uh, the talky talky stuff. Now we're early right. at Exactly. What's the first part of this light panel called? Huh? What's the first part of the light panel called? Do you mean the name? Yeah. Wait a sec. Echo Delta Bravo Hotel. Okay then, one, two, three, four points on it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> somebody brought the wolf. Oh, somebody just flew it through my ass. Oh. Do it at 80 knots, we don't really need that many points. <laughs> no. Stuart, nice liveries. Stuart, that's a nice looking bird. Those no, that's shite. <laughs> <laughs> I stand corrected. It's shite. Fucking okay, balsa wood and paper shite. That that they are, balsa wood and paper. Put the hands in the air. Woohoo! I think it'd be Irish linen and uh, pine and spruce. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and dope. Good stuff. If if well if put well together. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Man, I love these 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 things. Voodoo, ah, I love you. Yeah, it's I'm batting 500 then because Stuart hates me. <laughs> I know. So we, you know, we're even. <laughs> it's, it balances itself out, except he's bigger than you. <laughs> That's because he's Scottish. Don't forget it. Don't you forget it. <laughs> Oh wait a second, I gotta take a screenshot of us like standing around. There's two That's kinds cool. of people in the world, those who are Scottish and those who wish they were. Oh yeah. Oh, it's three of those pretend they are. Oh, well, yeah. Quite a lot of them live in the US side of the water. <laughs> Everybody on this side of the water is an idiot. Uh, no, not. Take it back. Probably not, not anybody. Good all are you? Strange question, huh? Say what? Yeah. What? Yeah, you didn't hear it. So, are you ready, Voodoo? Uh, it's not time yet. We have five minutes, bro. Okay, okay. You're okay! Jumping, you're jumping the gun. I do, I do. He's excited. He wants to go play. Go so, play. What in that? What was that? Best on the shooting gun just now? What's that thing? What? What? Best on machine guns? On your uh, German thing you've got over there? I think I got bigger ones, right? I I can't really say. I don't I don't know. Best on machine guns. 
Besser? Besser. What, wait, what does it mean? BESA is a manufacturer. User joined your channel. Oh, yeah, I don't know. What, what, are, what are you asking me? <laughs> what kind of question are you asking me? I don't know that shit. Well, <laughs> I thought you might know something about it, you know? User joined your channel. Yeah, you know, I got the Schmidt uh, machine gun on my uh, plane. Uh -huh. Just don't shmit Schmidt your guns. pants. Don't shmit your pants. <laughs> Schmidt guns shoot better than any other Allied gun. Well, ain't that some Schmidt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Crazy Schmidt. Okay, we got Spads, we got Newports, we got Albatrosses, we got DR1s, and we got Camels. We got all of them. Yeah. It's a whole pile of shite. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'll, be right, I'll, be, I'll be right back. You will never, ever, ever convince me to like these things. Ever. Hello, Julian. Hello, Flash. What not? Hallo Flash, wie geht's dir? Einen schönen guten Abend wünsche ich auch dir. Willkommen in Deutschland. <lacht> ja! Okay, the next thing you gotta say is like, schnell, 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 schnell! Los, los! Los, los! Schnell, schnell! Oh. And then you, you you know don't forget that uh, that that die, like the like death scream that they do in the movies. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, <laughs> Mama. It's like uh, what was that uh, that movie? Um, the movie with the bridge, uh, the bridges. Um, bridge too far. Bridge too far. <laughs> I uh. totally love the the like the, the dubbing, like the the German soldiers. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> Oh god. Hello Eagle. Hello Eagle. Good night. My mom's not died there. Oh yeah. Well I mean uh, of uh, a lot of my friends' families and uh, even of my family uh, people died there as well. Ugh. Here's uh the captain the and the palace should Okay. Uh ah. I Arnold. Gee, Liam, I know yeah. some words. Scheiße. <laughs> you can say shit in seven languages. But you know, it makes us two already. <laughs> I know words as well. You don't know any bad words. That's because you're so sweet and nice. You're so nice. No, no, no. He doesn't know bad words. He doesn't know bad words. Oh, I can spend the time with the Scottish, but that's not what I'm saying. Got it, mate. No, not really. Thank not. Gary got here! I'm going to get you to get a new one, man. Huh? 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 Flash, Oscar Yankee, you're at the wrong end. Yeah, swing your end around. <laughs> Bring it down here. Or right. on the other hand, like, I mean, I think like I, <laughs> at that speed, at that ground speed that they're doing, like, uh, it would take them like another 15 minutes to they get over here. They could actually take off and fly here and land at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Wolf, I love that livery. I like it. It's wicked dark. It's dark. Wicked dark. Wicked dark. Whoa! Goes a new port with a big cock on the side. To the left or to the right? No, I, I, I think it's on both sides. 
Oh, it must be Big Vic. Cock a doodle do. Oh, let's just slowly. It's two o'clock. Or it's eight o'clock. Ooh, that's the Yankee. That's nice. Cool. Brand new PC. Must still uh, have that PC smell. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. good smell. Alright, here's <coughs> my briefing time. It's briefing time. I got my briefs on. Guten Abend, Kameraden. Guten Abend, Yankee. Oh, camera was rolling already? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Auf jeden Fall. <laughs> Alright, guys. Um, well, gonna fly around the north of Germany. Well, as everyone read the memo, I think, so you know what it's about. Um, we'll be, actually, we'll be flying uh, at quite the speeds. Um, 80 knots, that's it. <laughs> uh, but it'll be enough because uh, we have some scenery to enjoy. Like with the new release, I mean, god damn it, that's like so much to see on the ground. That's so nice. Um, yeah, so especially with all these all these scenery, man. That's some good stuff. Oh yeah, exactly. So um, yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> we can even fly at this flat line and see like enough scenery to enjoy it. Okay. Um, Time setting will be um, local time will be four o'clock p.m. Just go and set it up. So sixteen hundred. Local time, sixteen hundred. Is that metric time? <laughs> I won't answer that. And when you're done, set your Weather to four or five pressure. Regen. Oh, a dingo! A dingo, eh, my babies? <laughs> you say that every week. Yes, yes, I do. I like that. It's funny. <laughs> you no, know, my, my wife always tells me, no, it's not funny. Jokes are funny. But it, it, that shit's not funny. <laughs> All right, so, um, we'll be flying it. I actually. Roughly something at a uh, thousand feet, thousand five hundred feet. Um, I'll just wing it, you know. But there's like stuff to see when it's good. We'll fly low, not we'll fly high. You just follow me. I mean, it's what? eighty knots. Eighty knots. The smoke in my cockpit means that you're not going to be with us. Probably. It's the, the tur turbo chargers overheating. <laughs> well, turbo chargers? Okay. No. no. Come uh -huh. on. You got these oh, things. Got okay. engines that turn. So, um, initial heading is the heading of that runway that we're on right now, and uh, uh, I got my map open, so um, we'll be flying um, according to the plan, um, which is actually um, around the island um, first. And then, like, um, when we land at our midpoint, um, we'll just go um, to uh, the town of Rostock and then down to uh, Lage, you know, where they have, like, our, um, yeah, our Air Force <laughs> situated. And then uh, we'll fly further south, southwest. And then we'll land. And we had a good time, as always. Woohoo! All right. Pushing for the roll. And here we go. I don't even know uh, uh, who to. Are we able to actually use the the autopilot in this one? Yes. Um, I don't know if it's got your sound pack in it. No. No, not in this version. This one, uh, this one doesn't. I'll try. Kind of helps me if you're navigating.
Okay. 80 knots. Set up. Oh yeah, it seems it seems it's doing quite well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. the, the auto the stock autopilot's pretty good. I mean, just like the originals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> to get your turbocharger cranked up and get your autopilot on. These things will just fly <laughs> themselves, man. <laughs> All right. So I'll be your beacon. You should be able to see me with that. Uh, what's that like? Red, white stripes. Man, I love that livery. That's so cool. High visibility. Oh yeah. That's what I love about all these liveries with these airplanes, man. It's just like all, they're all yeah. good. Like they're all looking good. It's like I don't know how many between the the five different versions. There's like a hundred liveries. You can't <laughs> find something you like. You're just too freaking picky. Yeah. They're too, too cool. I mean, it's like a, it was like pure confidence that they painted those planes in these colors, right? Oh, yeah, nobody would make themselves that obvious. <laughs> On to two hours of flying with friends and talking shit. Typical flight night. Whoa, that airplane went crazy. Yeah, I'll be doing the boring part, like flying straight uh, by the plan. You guys can just do whatever you want. I mean, there's like there's plenty of time, plenty of space. Well, thousand feet uh, underneath us, so be careful. I was watching that Newport with the big cock <laughs> messing with your wolf. <laughs> Whoa. Mm -hmm. The big cock, okay. But you know, right, um, Pienemünde, I've been there like, um, like last year or so. Isn't, um, that, isn't that where they used to make ball bearings for all this stuff? Oh, it's this where they used to make the, the where they used to uh, create the V1 and the V2. Whoa. This is, this is why they did it. We just, we just, we just take, took off from that place, yeah. It's been uh, bumped hard by, uh, I think, by the British and actually, I think, American planes as well. I'm not sure, but the British. Eh? And um, yeah, they just uh, they uh, they created them there, and uh, they even fired some of them uh, over to the to the island. Well, the island being, like, um, being Britain. Uh, being being the UK exactly, um, it's like uh, there there's still a museum, not that cool uh, these days anymore. Like um, it, it was it was way cooler. They had like all sorts of um, extra stuff standing around. Um, also from the um, what is it like the National um, People's Army, at, like you know the GDR Army, cool planes and stuff. It's all gone. Um, they're just concentrating on um, like how the Nazis use um, um, and prisoners or, or prisoners to, um, to do the work and stuff like that. So it's like it was a bit it, it was a bit like um, just about that and not really that much about the uh, the technical parts. But I think it's um, interesting, anyways, to to go there and actually see it. You can't see like all, all like like the, the like the, um, the the concrete bases and stuff. They're still there. Um, they got a very nice um, uh, real life uh, 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 ramp model of a of, a, of like of a, of a startup ramp with a for a V1 and they uh, a V1 is there as well. It's just like standing on the oh, ramp. Cool. I love that history stuff. I mean, it's too bad it's all about killing everybody, but yeah, that's quite nice. And then, like further south, on that very same island that we just took off from, it's called Usedom. Um, they have that um, what is it called, like Hangar Ten or something like that. Um, I think I wrote about it. Um, and I think I actually posted some some videos of, uh, of that place. That's where they actually have um, real flying B of 109s and uh, uh, a B of 108 actually that flies. It flies. Ooh. Ooh. By the way, I scored a, a, a B-109 
BF109 G6 with a bunch of liveries that's going to replace the G10. So. Ah, the G6. Okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, that's cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that reminds me, like uh, that I um, shamelessly forgot to um, add that um, stuff into the cockpit of the BF108, and I have to turn. DCS, what's that? I am, I am. Jerry, did you do that as well? In which? DCS? Uh, no, I don't do DCS, not at all. What is it? Digital combat. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Really, really expensive add-ons for free game. Yeah, it's it's really expensive. Yeah, it is. I think I paid something around two hundred bucks for four planes or so. But I really wanted to because um, yeah, I realized it. Done. No, I usually save my money for buying single malt scotch. No, a much wiser investment, I might add. And you can fly them at least once. I can fly it all night. <laughs> I just got a new uh, single malt scotch uh, just the other day. It is delicious. It is Highland Park full volume. Oh, Highland Park! Yeah, I man. love that. It is full volume, right enough. It's beautiful, beautiful. Ah. It's, it's, Highland Park is cool, isn't it? The thick. It's, it's really not that strong. It goes down like a, um, like like. It's so cool, like like so smooth and tastes really nice. I love it. Love it. Like my scotch with more balls. Maybe. Like you're more, more you're like your Talisker than uh, Voodoo. Lafroy. I'm a Lafroy whore. And uh, and bite. I like that, Pete. It tastes like a frickin' band aid, man. All that iodine and smoke. Um, Oscar Yiki, there is the um. Uh, it's a free model, actually, uh, that you can download, and it's very well done. It's the, uh, what's that Italian thing, the MB332 or something like that? Oh, yeah, and, uh, what's it? Right. Uh, the trainer plane. 339? Is it, is it? Yeah, 339, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 339. Yeah, that, that one is actually quite, ni quite nice. It's, it's really nice to begin with. Exactly, that one, yeah. yeah. I'd still rather buy scotch. <laughs> I'd rather suck custard through my nose than things, yeah. There you go. I'd rather steal scotch, actually, but... <laughs> Nobody's got any good stuff. Wow, this scenery is awesome, you guys. Holy shit. Yeah, that's quite nice. I mean, now, now with those buildings and shit, like, it's really cool. Oh, and man. They, and, uh, Put in like those. Uh, you see, like uh, that the, the, um, the like the town that we're actually having on our what is it like uh, it's eleven o'clock now. Um, they even got those. Um, what are they called? You know those extensions in, into the water where you actually have something on. You got that in the UK. Oh, oh piers, it, piers, and piers, stuff. Piers, exactly, piers. Yeah, exactly. The, um, they're there in reality, um, and I, I've actually seen one behind us. Yep, there's another one. It's cool that they did that. I mean, that must must have been like custom placed stuff. Or must no, be. no, I say it's what's it? Really? Yep. So it, somebody's a done a lot of work. There's a bit in OSM for years and experience and stuff like that. Nice. They can generate it all. That's cool. Yeah, it's like um. If you look at, like, I mean, from, from my view, from my position, um, if I look at uh, 11 o'clock now, you see that bay going out. Um, and you see uh, 11 o'clock, if you zoom in, you actually see that uh, five kilometer long building. That is actually being built by the Nazis. Well, that's has, the has been built. Huh? That's the Nazi hotel. Exactly, that's the Nazi hotel. And that's where oh, I'll be tomorrow. <laughs> what, getting room service or what? 
Well, enjoying our time. It's like uh, everything has been built be because they could. They tried to um, to uh, uh, what is it called? Like um, they tried to put C4 in it and uh, you know blast it to oh. pieces. And that um, didn't work or what? It didn't work at all. It didn't work at all. Nothing moved. Nothing. It was designed as the national hotel for the Nazi party workers. Yeah, exactly. Well, must have worked pretty well. We would all had a, it was in a one week's uh, holiday filming. They've been taken away to that resort, and it was all a bedroom for treats. Well, was supposed yeah. to be. They never got finished. Nope. Exactly. Yeah, I think they started it too too uh, too late, and then like. You know, everything went down the drain, so they didn't even continue doing that. Yeah. They, they run out of coffee. Nah, I doubt that. <laughs> but like the Russians uh, at the NBA troops, um, they actually tried to blast them to pieces. Uh, it didn't work. Like so, the last ones. Um, if you look at it right now, and then like on the right side, there's uh, there's two buildings, two smaller ones. Um, they're in pieces now but actually only part of them like the core still stands and they can't get it away they can't put they can't they can't they can't destroy it so what they what they did was like uh, they rebuilt everything um, and it's now pure white like uh, uh, the whole thing um, it's been painted and stuff like that and everything is new there's hotels in it um, there's Actually, you can actually have like apartments that you can buy there. Well, the rest of the army used to trade as trade facilities as well. Yep. During the uh, the GDR years, like those forty years. Um, yeah, exactly. They used it um, as a training facility, also for like foreign uh, military as well. It's like in the back, or like nah, it's like um, <laughs> there's there's a couple of uh, interesting facts like. What what they did was like uh, they actually um, practiced big landing operations from where we are right now. Uh, so they put like big landing ships and uh, and stuff, and they actually just uh, released all sorts of BMP tanks and uh, stuff. Um, they did like huge operations, and that was kind of crazy because when we actually were like having a good time at the beach. Um, just a couple of meters away from us on uh, on the other side um, there was a fence and beyond that fence they did those operations while you know you were just out in the weekend having fun at the beach that was crazy stuff we had like Mi-24 uh, Mi attack helicopters um, coming over the over the beach and stuff like that it was pretty spectacular You should actually see it, like um, up front, you should actually already see or spot some white spots uh, on those cliffs if you got like all these um, textures. It's amazing, this scenery is fucking amazing. Excuse my French. Like the whole thing is chalk cliffs. Um, or we're just like uh, overflying it and, and until we just uh, turn to the, to the left slightly. Um, you can actually see it. It's 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 all chalk cliffs. It's just um, certain places um, on the planet where you actually have something like that. And you actually have some some stuff in uh, in Denmark. Oscar Yankee should know it. You have it here. I think you actually have it like in the States as well. There's a couple of places where you actually have something like a, a chalk cliff. Dova. Dova. No, it, Dova is um, that's not chalk. That's. Uh, uh, it's what's gypsum. the other thing? Gypsum. Yeah, it's exactly something like gypsum, isn't it? No, no. A lime, limestone. Exactly limestone. Well, limestone, limestone, yeah, but it's purely chalk. Yeah. Enriched right, flower. Uh, just to uh, to see a little bit more, um, we'll be flying. Uh, we'll be we'll be getting to 1,500 feet real quick. So on my mark. I don't know what the uh, autopilot is climbing with, but uh, I'll set it up for altitude hold 1,500. 
climb at about Mark. 400 feet per minute, I think. All right, mock climbing. Left side, on the left side, over my left wing as my hometown. My frame rates are sick, man. I pegged it like 60 FPS. Alright, yeah, same here. Pretty cool, isn't it? It's awesome. Everything looks nice, feels nice, it's easy to fly. Weather's nice, company's nice. Well, oh, we're about to turn to the left. Um, in, I don't know, a couple of seconds. I'll tell ya. Yep, exactly that one, Flash. You're looking at maps, huh? So it's like, um, underneath us, uh, you guys should actually see, as, as, as soon as you got, like, or if you got, uh, all these, um, scenery, you should see white chocolates underneath your plane. No, late I, for a while I thought you were saying chocolates. Cho <laughs> That'd be nice, huh? That's yeah. a nice place. They're going to see chocolates so you under have, your... But you got to visit this, uh, uh, visit me and then I'll show you those places, Rudu. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm about to turn. Ah, oh, this is fun. I'm sorry you think these are shite, dude. This is too damn much fun. All right, turning. We're about to turn to three, one, one degrees. Three. One, one. Uh, actually, it's 310 degrees, 310. I just love to see those things roll over and play dead. The second like right underneath us, there's like one of the biggest ones, um, biggest chocolate, it's called the uh, Königstuhl which is King's Chair. Yeah, I think the geometry is, uh, it's not detailed enough to actually, for the, you know, for the textures. So, meh. Yeah, we both see it to be flat. Hmm. The place that we're flying to, the other one, like the other end over there um, of the island, is um, that's been used as a as a radar surveillance point by the uh, National People's Army and the Russians, of course, uh, throughout all those years uh, of the GDR. Um, they had like several incidents where where like. Um, a light planes would uh, get into um, in, into the airspace, and uh, you would have like um, mix spawning, scrambling, and uh, flying around uh, the island. Like during the weekends, the skies over the island were filled with white stripes um, of planes um, doing um, air fights. Oh, it was like all. Like the whole weekend through, like uh, it was, it was just like uh, planes um, trying a um, air combat manu maneuvers um, over the island. It was quite spectacular. Sounds like fun. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. But like, uh, I remember that I was like, that we were like going a uh, Trabant car. You know those, <laughs> the ones that were made yeah. like out of the same material as we're flying in. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know, I know, these, I know, these, I know. These are made better. Yeah, <laughs> they are. They're pretty cool, actually. Taliban cars? Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's actually been uh, quite the advanced material, if you think about it, but, um, well... Yeah. Um, it was paper mache. 
Yeah, it was. Trabant. Trabant. Very well. We're very well done. <laughs> it's two stroke. Trabant. They used more oil than petrol, and yeah. it was made. The body was made from gel coated paper mache. Mm -hmm. oh. You had to have like all the all the engine parts. You had to have it with you, because like yeah. it, the, <laughs> it could be that the uh, it could happen that the generator would just fall out. <laughs> and like uh, jump out of the car, and it, you, uh, it, you would you would like leave it behind you. It would like jump over the street. Ah, uh, well, then you would actually just uh, you know park the car, take the other one, put it in, and go on. Sounds like the first Triumph Spitfire I had. <laughs> you know what? The Trabant has a heated win rear windshield, don't you? Um, I well, don't remember that actually. Uh, uh, it was heated so your hands didn't get warm. It would get warm while you were pushing it. We <laughs> <laughs> only call it band with a sunroof. That was a Skoda. A were... dumpster. A what? A dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, we were actually driving um, that one day in that car. Yes, that's uh, right. A Trabant, and um, we had like uh, three MiG 21s going really low on the deck, um, along that street, like coming from behind, over flying, and then breaking uh, uh, right over our heads. <laughs> Stuff showing like that off. happened like all the time. Yeah, showing off. That was really cool. That was really cool. They weren't really showing off. They were trying to find the way of flying IFR. IFR. High follow roads. The scary things were like, um, you know, you had like, um, I mean, like, there was like military everywhere on that island. Uh, you had like T-72s, which were not that many uh, in the National People's Army. Like it was like T-55s all the time. And um, driving like across the street, you really had to like watch out when driving on, on, on roads. But the scary stuff was like, um, it was like the big, big shit, like the big cars, the big transporters. Um, with like, um, like SSBMs and shit like that on on their backs. That was crazy stuff. You, of course, you didn't know what you were dealing with when you were, you know, at the age that we were, like 10, 10 to twelve or something like that, right? Like at twelve years old, you don't know that that is like um, a uh, a ballistic missile on that thing and what it can do. Look to your left. That's quite nice. It's like one of the big beaches that we have like on, on the island. Um, that bay here. It's crowded with uh, tourists uh, during the summertime. And right on that like, like last tip that uh, that's just in front of us, uh, there was like a couple of um, surveillance stations. You know, they had those old radar uh, uh, installations, like a vertical radar, horizontal radar, and then like all these uh, different additional um, radiation emitters and detectors. Stu, you uh, look so good. You look so good in that camel, mate. On the 23rd of this month, there is a historic gated tour and uh, uh, chat being held at the local chain home radar station, World War II. Cool. The gates from the historic spot will come down to give you gated tours of all the buildings and what was there and what was what. Oh, will you attend? Can. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. He has Stuff to like work. Cool. He has to yeah. work. His boss is an asshole. <laughs> I've got a deal. Uh, unfortunately, I can't come over. I would. But you know, like Stuart, I mean, then I would actually have to like uh, <laughs> spend my whole holidays like over um, in Scotland because there's like so much going on. Um, by the way, we're actually about to turn something like almost 90 degrees to the left in a 
in a bit. A couple of seconds. I say after the deal. Oh, you do? I do. I push the deal. Woo! Oh my, how'd, how'd you pull that off? Alright, turning. My wife's sister's gonna go up for this tomorrow. Uh, because tomorrow's actually our anniversary. So, we're getting to go away for the day. So, Margaret, yeah. Mm hmm. Who's running the place at that time? Or during that time? My wife's sister. Oh, okay. Sounds like you married well, mate. Well done. How many years penance has that been now? <laughs> married in 97. 97? Oh, you're still on your honeymoon for crying out loud. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I've been married so long I don't even like girls anymore. <laughs> That's a joke. Wow. So just fly around, we're just flying. I mean, I'll be flying a straight line until we go to our midpoint. So freak out, do the funky chicken. Oh, My look at that, it was awesome. Wow. I prefer to do the funky gibbon. If the viewers of the movie haven't noticed yet, this is the educational part of the flight here, United Kingdom flight night. I have to be nuts to do this, but it helps. Kind of. And here you guys doing some stuff behind me. <laughs> you can hear like oh, that, that, that there, like your sound button. God, I wish we could oh, stop yeah. that. Yeah, right. Thought it was like it was fixed already, but no, it wasn't. Fly by at a whopping 80 knots. Oh, look out, boys! It's like um, ahead of us. Like this is like one of the um, actually one of the best um, surf spots in Germany. But quite the if you got west west and winds, um, it's like. There's like this this little uh, what is it called like like a uh, like a fjord in front of us and then it's like this small piece of land and on the other side there's like uh, the, in, in in the back there is like, uh, it's an island and uh, when you got western winds you got really hard uh, waves and stuff and uh, people really love um, surfing over there. Surfing in Germany. <laughs> I bet the water's freezing, dude. Oh, it is. You actually, oh yeah, yeah, it is. You actually have to have a suit. Gotta wear a wetsuit or freeze to death. Yeah. But I mean, come on. In the Pacific, you need a you need a fucking wetsuit as well. You can't do it without. Yeah, shark suit. I mean, Chain like mail. in the LA area, um, I would no, wouldn't do it without a suit. Pacific's yeah, always cold. Naked. Ah. Ah. Actually, Gary, if you want, you can actually go naked uh, uh, here no. on the island. No, no. You don't want Gary going Ooh, naked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But Gary wants Gary naked, maybe. No. There's two kinds of naked where Gary comes from. There's naked and there's naked. Oh, necker? If Naked, naked. If you're <laughs> naked, it means you don't got no clothes on. If you're naked, it means you ain't got no clothes on, you're up at something. <laughs> Stop me when I'm okay. lying, brother. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's actually, it, well, it's a, um, it's not a, like, actually, it's not a thing in, like, in Germany. Um, 
it's a thing in Eastern Germany. It's a, it's a small thing in, in, in the rest of Germany as well, uh, but it was really big like in the former GDR. That was really big. Like one of the freedom things that you had, like, you know, the one of the only ones. What, well, that good? But that was, that was probably just because uh, they didn't want to give you money for your clothes. And uh, you're walking on naked clothes and stuff. <laughs> Oh, I Dango, know. Dango, that's my favorite livery. I love that. I almost brought that tonight, but the visibility isn't good enough for the movie. Hey, Geet, I got new headphones, man. Woo! Which ones? I got some Bayer, Dy Bayer Dynamic DT1990 Pros open ah. back. Oh yeah, that's nice. Holy shit, sound good. Aren't those a product Are they, of, aren't they a product of Deutschland? Yeah, yeah. Biodynamic. Although I don't know if they are actually of this still building them in Germany. I don't know. I can't tell it. Well, I think they were designed in Germany though. Mm -hmm. Um Sennheiser. Well, they are, they are being built. No, Sennheiser is being built in Germany still, I think. Yeah, my favorite stuff. Wait Sennheiser and Biodynamic. Oh. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm a fan of AKG. That's good. But uh, they just have like a they're like their frequency curve is really flat, so it's it's not for everyone. The ones that I'm wearing right now is um, those are actually for the for the studio. So they give you like the real sound, but the real sound is uh, probably not what uh, you know everyone wants. Like instead well, of like, being in the studio. Of course thing I love about these is I put my headphones on and then switch to studio monitors and they sound exactly the same as my studio monitors so I can mix yeah, stuff cool. I can mix stuff down in the middle of the night and not wake up all the neighbors and that's it's, nice it's, yeah, yeah it, what, it's what, close what, enough what for jazz that? which one is that you want a wicked video ah. that's why I bought those ones actually uh, Voodoo, because they actually they sound like the ones um, I have. Tannoys speakers, <laughs> Tannoy speakers. Yeah. Um, they sound uh, like really flat as well. And well, of course, I don't really have like right now. I don't have like real studio situation, so um, I can't. I can't. I can't listen them uh, uh, over them. Like that. That's not. It's not possible. So I need those headphones as well, just to give me like kind of like the same uh, frequency response. Curve. Exactly. Yeah, I got uh, Mackie's, Mackie's studio monitors. Um, I don't remember what the number is, but they're like yeah. bi-amp powered monitors. God, they sound good. They're, they're too big Small though. ones? No. Small ones? No, the uh, uh -huh. eight, eight inch, eight inch. Oh, uh, okay. I see. <laughs> when I brought them home, my wife goes, God, it, those are so big. Can we get by smaller, smaller monitors? I go, well, I'm using them for near field monitors, so. Eh, she wasn't really thrilled, so I hooked them all up and put a bunch of music on and played it loud and thought, oh my god, these are awesome. I don't care how much space they take up on the desktop. And then I hear from the other room, you can keep them. <laughs> they really oh, do sound good. So they are near fields, are they? I use them as such. I'm like sitting in the middle of, I'm set like three feet behind them, not even that far. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, uh, <laughs> bigger ones uh, uh, might be, might be okay. And actually, I, I now I mean, like in the studios, we always had them. Like the big ones, um, we had them one and a half to two meters away, I think, to the listening point. Yeah, huh? that's about, yeah, about, yeah. about a meter. Yeah. God, they sound good. It's cool when the dog helps me mix, though, because he'll sit in my lap, and I know I got my stereo separation nice when he keeps turning his head and his ears move. <laughs> cool. Yeah, my stereo perception is a bit skewed to the right after, like, uh, a certain loud bang on the right side. So I have to compensate for that all the time. Yeah, I gave up my uh, Personas uh, Audio Box uh, USB too and went with that Focusrite, that red 
red dealy with the two inputs. That was okay. what you, you suggested. Man, that thing rocks. Yeah, they're cool, aren't they? Oh, it's like one of those small, the red ones, right? Yeah. That's what I'm using right now. Yep, I gotta get me one as well. Oh God, oh, this actually, is yeah. awesome. Yeah. We got um, recording at, at least sample rate at 96 kilohertz. Mix it all down at the precision. Well, I just bought this new guitar, and it uses uh, the pickups in it are um, 3D printed pickups instead of hand wound. The coils okay. are, three, are 3D printed. Oh my! God. Oh my God! <laughs> well, you actually have to record um, at a high uh, uh, frequency, like um, and actually, are you recording in tw in 24 bit? Yes, 24 bit 96 kilohertz. Mm -hmm. The sound, the sound on replay, it just makes. Me, yeah, I'm playing until my fingers are bleeding now. Yeah. Oh, new yeah, gu new guitar, on uh, Persona Studio One four four point whatever. Uh, my Mackie monitors, my new headphones, my Sennheiser mics, MD 441s. I'm starting to produce some nice sounding stuff. It, Nobody else will be impressed, but I like it. <laughs> no, I think I don't think so. I think like other people will be impressed as well. You got to release some stuff. Oh, dude, I got some. I got some three blues tracks worked out. One of them I should finish up probably in the next week or so. But it's just like a like a, a three-piece blues trio guitar stuff. <laughs> oh, oh God, I'm so happy. <laughs> I have learned something though about recording again since I'm not good at the engineering thing. Never lay down tracks if you're dry. Always have alcohol first. If you're playing parts, lay down tracks. It has to be lube. If you're mixing stuff, no alcohol ever. It has to be totally uninhibited. Yeah, that's right. Can't yeah, be yeah. can't be polluted. Because if I mix stuff when I've had even even one beer and I play it the next day I go, what the fuck is what are you doing with that? Yeah, yeah, you completely lose your timing. <laughs> you completely like, lose think, your perspective. Yeah, I mean it. It, it feels good, doesn't it? Right? But uh, the thing oh, is, it feels like, great. It just sounds real... like shit. <laughs> yeah, if you want to record stuff, that's actually that's actually precision work recording. Um, yeah. Well, one of the, it's one I of got the things that you actually have to tell those those guys that you're recording. Because they normally come like like lots of booze and stuff, like being cool, you know. They actually have to tell them like, okay, guys, it's not the not the best idea. If I'm playing guitar and I've had a couple of drinks, I'm fine. I'm actually very, very creative and very precise for like 20, 30 years of performing live. If I'm mixing and doing the engineering, if I touch anything other than ice water, I'm screwed. Yeah. Oh yeah, on the on the, the mixing side. Yeah, I mean that 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 of course, yeah. That I mean, sounds great. Let's, let's give it more bass. Let's give it more of this, and then you listen to it yeah. later and go, "Oh my god!" <laughs> yeah, it's like, hmm. What I what I do normally, or what I did, was like um, mixing, yeah, totally dry, of course, and then um, listening, um, like you know, getting like grabbing a beer and stuff like that, getting into a comfortable situation, listening to this stuff couple of times um, going back from it uh, listening to it again and then oh, like yeah I have to remix it to console. I have to remix it I bet Stu does the same thing you remix stuff about 15 or 20 times yeah probably right too it sounds good and then until it doesn't yeah but I never get it so far off I can't the whole thing has been driven by this this new guitar is just freaking me out, man. This the new kid, these kids, new stuff, these kids got it. Too cool. It's crazy. So like, did you try on on the iPad? Um, there's like this uh, is the Garage Band thing. Um, uh, wow, fucking hell! That's like uh, you can actually just go and uh, um, create songs, like harmonies and shit out of nothing it's like a, it's 
you don't even have to know any of the theory or like how to play a certain instrument. You just press some buttons and then it, it, oh, yeah. it happens. I can grab samples. I can grab samples and stuff, but you know, I'm basically a multi-instrumentalist from many different genres, so I, I don't use a lot of that stuff, but it's nice to have. Yeah, I mean, you know, the stuff on the um, on the iPad there, there's a lot that is actually being calculated in real time. It's it's, it's partly sample based, but oh, partly yeah. it's like um, um, certain uh, generation algorithms playing there, and it sounds cool. Here's the thing that's freaking me out: is I can plug my guitar directly into my USB interface, and then in Studio One and that channel I can add guitar modeling so once it gets converted to digital I mean I can literally model the amps that I used to use back in the day and the speaker cabinets I used to use back in the day and the and the, the pickups I used to use back in the day and it sounds better than if I'd spent hours setting up a Marshall stack and macking and micing it this this shit's just like plug it in and turn the knobs can happen it does happen. You'll hear it. It's shit. This sounds so good, dude. <laughs> I mean, Sega, um, you know, like back in the days when you actually had like the real amps and stuff. Like, I mean, it was, it, it was, it was like um, also like all about like mic positioning and uh, choice of mic and stuff like that. So, I mean, that thing now nowadays. I mean, it's it's all clean signals from the guitar, and then you're good to go. I mean, and then you actually. There, you know, you're relying on um, precise simulation, simulations of, uh, of um, analog stuff. Been, use, and been using Presonus Empire. I pick the guitar cabinet, I pick the head, I put all the settings, and then I have choices of things like a Shure SM57, um, condenser microphones. I have three different mic placements that I can move and move them out of phase and delay them and all kinds of shit, just like you would yeah. do it back in the day. <laughs> Dude, it's unbelievable. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of scary, isn't it? Because you don't really need like uh, any of the real stuff anymore. <laughs> well, you can. No, I don't need any of the real stuff. I, I've been trying to make this kind of sound for 40 years that I just discovered since I got this new guitar. But the, the thing that's freaking me out is the creative. Instead of spending all this time running cables and, and tweaking microphones and stuff, you can spend it just playing shit that sounds good until you find what you want. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's crazy. So yeah. like all the bad shit that's happening in the 21st century, music is not one of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the cool, thing, the, the cool thing is like that you really don't, you don't have to destroy your source material. That's the coolest thing. I mean, it's like, you know, back in the days, you just had a fucking tape. And you had to use that. And like, you know, in worst case, uh, you, couldn't, you couldn't use the source material uh, like a second time. You had to re-record it. So that is cool. I mean, nowadays it's so cool that you just have like you record that thing once and then you use it like a thousand of times. Yeah, I can just copy and paste. I can literally go record a guitar track like where I flubbed three notes, literally record those three notes the right way, cut it down to size, take that file and paste it in there and you can't even hear it. Yeah. Which I think is kind of cheating, but the truth of the matter is, is it saves me hours of trying to play the whole thing over again. Uh, it is uh, cheating, I think. That's basically the way ever play do speed. Yeah. It's the creativity. It's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's not the tools, man. It's what to do with them. Yeah, yeah but what it was to do with them. Ah, well. That's how it is with these things. And by the way, anybody who watches this video, this is all Stuart's music in the background, so... Exactly. Good stuff. So you're using those, um... Uh... Those sample libraries, right? Yes. Yeah. Which one is it? Oh, what would you mean? Oh, oh, library. Uh, okay. Did you buy them? Right. You yeah. did, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what was it like? What, what program? What digital audio workstation are you using? I'm using a Sony Astro. All right, Good yeah. Stuff. It works. It does what I want. Oh, absolutely! It's, it's a That's good one. That's the key. Find what works. Didn't and it? You bang it, bang it till it don't stand up. Didn't it go free as well? Sorry. 
uh, isn't it free now? Oh hell no. Oh, oh shit, no, that okay. shit's expensive. Oh, that was another one. Like I think it's like oh, digital performer. That went free. I had a free version of Personas Studio One Artist, and then I got this. this started to ramp stuff up and bought Studio One Pro the, or Studio One 4.0 the pro version of it, it just went like, oh my god, I'll never <laughs> use 10% of what this thing can do. Yeah. By the way, the uh, the airfield uh, of our midpoint is uh, right in front of us. Yeah, we should pay attention um, to flying. No, that's cool, it's cool. Um, you know, 80, 80 knots. <laughs> it, it'll take at least a couple of minutes until we're there. <laughs> Pretty airplanes. I love that uh, just... wood. That wood colored albatross, man. Yeah, right. So, um, the field. Um, we'll approach it, we'll overfly it, uh, we'll turn to the east, and then we'll come in from the east and land. Holy shit, it's mid break. Yep, it is. Flight nights aren't long enough, we need to extend them another hour. <laughs> So what do you want to do the chariot one that's going to be 10 hours long? Woohoo! So, after landing, um, if you can do, um, take the center uh, taxiway away to the left and backtrack, there's a little, there are three buildings. We'll be parking in front of those three buildings. The land, break left and uh, backtrack to those buildings. I will uh, descend to 1,000 on my mark. 1,000 feet, your mark, sir! Mark, descending. Yeah. It will be, right, for us. <laughs> we could start an hour earlier, duh. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm amazed that we've managed to keep Flight Night going for, what, 10 years or something like that, Stu? Pretty much. Flash, yeah, we're in Central Europe, so yeah. Oh, I'll this is a neat. Where exactly uh, in in Denmark are you? That's good. Okay. Cool. That's where all the smart, beautiful people come from. You know that, right? Oh yeah. That's where the I good mean, music's other... coming from. Other than Scotland. Oh. That's just pure genetics right there. <laughs> Alright. This is uh, disengaging autopilot. That looks cool. I could use some shadows and stuff in the cockpit. Maybe, maybe I can. Ah, oh, let's see. Uh, I got, I got more work to do. Yeah, it's good as it is. Like, uh, it's good enough. Well, it's good enough All for right. now, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. All right, turning left just to break on top of the runway. All right. Hey, 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 watch what you're doing there. Like turning left. Touched. Just to get into the, uh, into the traffic pattern. All right. All right, guys. Just, uh, 
continue your own approach and uh, land. So are we going straight in? I don't know where this place... Oh, I see it right ahead of us. Say this. This thing doesn't work in Spidoma. Um, yeah, kind of. I think it's in the wrong units. Oh. Oh, yeah, it is, right? Oh, EDBH. Echo Delta, exactly. Bravo Hotel. Hotel. Roger, no, Roger. Bath or Bath, if you want. It's the one we used to flew over, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's to our left. Yeah, we just over flew it. Magic number, boys and girls, is 50, 40 to 50. 14 to 15 knots. Yeah, you want to hit the ground going about 40 knots. And also, <laughs> just like the originals, you have brakes and uh, rear wheel steering. <laughs> Shame, shame. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, landing on the grass is easier though. More resistance, Yeah, because yeah, if you plant the brakes on this, it will turn you into an airman's monument. Right in your nose. Face plant, <laughs> splat. Yep. Yeah, I like flying these. With Mel Eagle? Bad that. Bert the first. Bert the first? Bert the first? Bert the first? Breaks gently, yeah. Or it breaks your skull. Smash, 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 smash. But these things are break. The originals didn't have brakes, you just had to drop your tail skid into the dirt and drag it. Yep, absolutely. Originals. The first ones had an anchor. Huh, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> used to drag an anchor by Anchors away! <laughs> You know, those arresting hooks like that uh, that F-15 video is the same shit. Drop a big-ass anchor out. A lot of the early training ones had the, the skidded down the middle like oh, a glider. Yeah. 
and you could use that to slow you down as well. Mm -hmm. He also had the skin that put you forward of the prop to actually stop you going those over. Have a nice price break, boys! Woohoo! Five minutes! Five? I oh, want seven. No! Do you earn five? <laughs> that is a nice livery steward. Be right back, let me get a drink. Yep, same here. Welcome back. Lim has the savage livery. Wow. 
Ash has a big cock. Woo! Know that. I'll be moving up uh, to the threshold already. So everyone who actually wants to follow, come with me! Come with me if you want to live. Right? Get to the new pot. Get to the camel. Welcome back, Celine. Remember to name the cure. Yeah, just a bit. When I use 50%. Nice taxi too fast and stuff that's made of balsa wood and toilet paper. Excuse me, tissue paper. Hey, just run me over. I'm trying to fly here. Well, if you rewrite play a pair of tag, it's a plug-in rather than as an individual aircraft thing. You can use any aircraft, right? Just be running the plug-in. Yeah, we gotta figure out how fighter tag works. Oh, LG left it because I really want to do that again. These would be good. I got uh, a couple more uh, World War II fighters, P-47D and P-51D and uh, what else did came us really cool? Oh, uh, an Italian uh, Veltro. They got some World War II fighters for you. And an F-111. It's only minutes away from release. As soon as I can get my head out of my ass. Get that out there. Stewart's new fancy light pack. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, by the way, um, uh, strange thing is like um, Echo Delta Charlie uniform. It is, um, if I load that into the route manager, it's actually being used. Does it tell me? Yeah. It's probably not usable as, a, as an airfield somehow. I don't know. I know it doesn't make sense, right? <laughs> it's available but, on navigation point. It is right, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's 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 a really small field in reality, so yeah, it might not even be used anymore. I'm I'm, I'm not sure about that. All right, we wait for a guy there. Wow, Geed, Gary, you you guys are like regular crones, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on! Dingo! Taxi faster! Be faster! Dingo! Dingo, you won't eat no baby! It's going that slow! <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, be, we'll take off. And then, uh, yeah. Dingo, you're, you're right, right? Uh, you're ready. He's going the wrong way, dude! Come on, get that thing in gear! Oh 
Snowy runway excursion, Batman. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. <laughs> Exit right. only, brother. Lined up again. Shit. <laughs> All right, wing settle, 1,000 uh, feet altitude on the autopilot. 90 knots, I'll try 90 knots. If we can do it, I don't know. You can. You can try. You can do 110. Okay, no. All right. Then so it, looking it, behind me. If you adjust uh, your mixture. Uh, okay, okay. How you guys are doing? See someone still on? No, it's not on the ground. Everyone's up, right? Okay. Goes right. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. I'll be turning to the left. To the left. To the left. Right, it's to the port side, boys. Port side. Port side. Four degrees. Turning now. Be there, B square. Ah, yeah, be there, B square. Ah, where's your buccaneers? Under me fucking hat. Ah. So um, yeah, I'm doing 90 knots. Stop. All right. Oh, well, 90 knots then. That's good. Two hundred and thirty-three is the heading. Two three three. I'm doing ninety knots at a thousand feet. We stud you. Oh yeah. <laughs> no wonder all the girls like fighter pilots. They all go at ninety knots. <laughs> ninety knots, full speed in. <laughs> I need nuts. No! <laughs> you said nuts. I'll see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> he said wood. No, I actually just implied wood. Yeah. Or is that fly wood? Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> Insert pinky into the corner of the mouth. Oh. One million dollars. I do like those. They're cool. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, they're cool. thing that I've seen is like uh, that um, in the t in the area around the town that we're flying to Rostock, the big one. Um, they even put some uh, military ships, like some frigates and and, and, and corvettes, uh, there into the harbor. That's nice. I don't know, but that 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 can't come from uh, from OSM, right? Uh, don't think so. I saw the military ship uh, that we overflew like way back uh, about 15 minutes in the flight. Okay. Um, that, was that like, yeah, that was like shortly before we actually uh, landed like something. Yeah, um, absolutely possible because there is um, a, um, a Navy base there. Nice. Yeah, it must have been some German guy maybe. Placing some stuff. Stuff. 
what I've heard, them German guys are always trying to play stuff. <laughs> yeah. We do. Yeah. Yeah. Beware. <laughs> Beware. Or be square. <laughs> Right, Eagle? Must be culture shock for some of these young guys that try to fly <laughs> tissue paper and, uh, and uh, toothpick aircraft. And a rotating engine. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Is that, is that true? The whole engine spins? Yep. Yeah. I love that. And three wings. No, wait. One, two, three, four wings. Because the thing at the bottom on a triplane actually is a fourth wing. O-M-G. R-O-F-L-M-A-O. You don't have a throttle. You have to keep cutting the ignition to slow down. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, I cheated. Yeah, that's that's okay. That's okay. But yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, it it's used to be a funny way. Flying, it used to be uh, they were either full on or off, or mm -hmm. set or middle. Yep. This full power, something. full power, half power, or off. You need to read up how the camel actually do because the, the the joystick didn't work in the way. Yeah, they're not they're not completely accurate, boys. That's totally fine. I said this used the field beside this. Where? Still right. Uh yeah it is. Old one. It's called uh, Pripnitz. But it's not used anymore. Yeah, we have like uh, 19 nautical miles ahead of us. Oh, sorry, about 8 miles. Sorry, 8 miles. Until we reach the next uh, waypoint, and then we turn left towards Lage. Lage? The military um, airport. Ooh, that's where all the, uh, the Galdern uh, EF 2000s were. Yeah, those three that were that are working exactly. They got we working there too, yeah. Lage, Lage, Lage. Aha! I remember that, Jeline. Not like the beer, lager, lager. Cool music. Yeah, I think it was actually, didn't they sing like lager, lager, lager? They did. The line between them begins to disappear. That was the 90s. Yep. What determines when the uh, other planes go from a glider to a proper model? Because I've had both. Like at the moment, they're all uh, gliders, but LOD. Yeah, that's... It's the LOD range. They have to set the LOD range set up for the model. Right, okay. And additionally to that, like in the latest versions, I think um, if planes go out of sight, uh, the models are being, um, at least they're not being rendered anymore. I mean, they, they weren't before either, but uh, it seems that somehow um, memory is being freed and uh, model data somehow is being freed as well. Um, that's the reason for them, when you actually see them again, when they get into view again, they actually start as a yellow glider. Yeah, until the red are broken. Mm -hmm. so Five miles. That's good to get all week together.
scary thing is, is you guys are getting really fucking good at flying these things. That's just scary. I thought when I built these, nobody cares, but I gotta do it anyway because I loved them, and then it's like, oh my god, these are cool. Of course they are cool. Yeah, I didn't see the pain the left for you. Yeah, it's a dead. And then I was like, wait a minute, isn't this somewhere else? And maybe I can find myself a paint kit. And then I found the paint kit, and I found it's completely different. Uh, that's completely different. I was like, bastard! I'm gonna have to like, ret basically like, reverse engineer the damn thing. <laughs> There's Elijah's basic one and then that one. The Elijah's one. I was going to say to the kind of the, the top on the map that has not got the front or the undersides. This is true. So that one has the better option, I thought. Three miles. I don't suppose you know where the original is that could generate a pain kit. Because it's obviously been put together from layers, uh, so whatever had the layers would be useful to have. I'll see if I can find it. Uh, uh. All right, two, two miles, and one o'clock. Those there are those. Uh, Military ships. I think it's actually like American models. Some American thingy. Thingy? 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 I got a thingy. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's no big deal. Tell us about <laughs> it. <laughs> it's, it's not a big deal. Oh, it's, it's, it's more a knob, huh? Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's. <laughs> It's a frightened turtle. <laughs> hey, one mile to the turning point. <laughs> well, it's not that pathetic. <laughs> it's Abby. A special kind. It's Abby normal. So we're overflying that little airfield here, and we will be turning in half a mile. Oh, they even put like these uh, the solar panels here. Mm -hmm. What are we turning into? Uh, beasts. No, we're beasts already. Beasts. Ah. Right, turning to the left now. Well, you're the pilot, so you're the Thank you, the pilot. So to, our right, to our right, we actually have that town, uh, Rostock. Well, that I talked about like this. Uh, it's the one that they, uh, one of our most of the best known pirates uh, used to be Klaus Störtebeker. Also, the island uh, Rügen. He was. Uh, it, it was. It was his hideout place. And he attacked like all those uh, old Hanseatic um, ships, like those sailing ships. They were actually pretty small. Those sailing ships. I can't even imagine like how they actually transporting like really many goods in them because they were they were so small. Those things. Here we go with the small stuff again. Let's let it go. Let it go. No, I mean, we can talk about a little more about your knob if you want. No, I'm good. <laughs> we got Ooh. a nice queens here. Yeah. You see, I, I like you stole it. Come with me if you want to live. 
Don't fly like him if you want to live. These wind turbines need to go around a bit faster. No wonder we got no tubes. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's probably no wind. <laughs> I don't know. Are they actually reacting to the wind speed? They are, right? They do, yeah. Well, they're reacting. They can create that yeah. We can go with the new reactors. Now, uh, only you set up your wings, but then you know, I mean, on the other hand, have fun in those planes. <laughs> Yeah, those things wind up the rubber band that keeps the front uh, uh, prop going, right? Ugh. Got a hamster running round and round in a little wheel. this latest generation of scenery. Holy shit. Yeah. It's easy, enough to, it's easy enough to make if you have a route because it only does the scenery for the route and ignores five miles away and it keeps the size of the scenery down. Yeah, the frame rates are like stunning. Yeah, well I'm getting the, the grand total of 14th this week. Ooh. Still sitting at 30 right now. 30 for you as well. I was getting 40 at the start, I'm gonna get 17. That guy's upside down. Now he's right side up, but he's plummeting. A 2070 Ti should do it, cost me the uh, exact length. I got a mobile uh, 2060 adapter in this one. It's doing, it's 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 fine. Guy at work just built a machine. He put two um, Nvidia 2080 <laughs> GTX 2080s in S running an SLI. He oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Are you crazy? A thousand dollars worth of video cards. A thousand? I mean, that should be at least two thousand. It's twenty eighties. No, I think I paid seven something. Well, of course, that was a couple years ago now. So yeah, exactly. Oh man, he is nuts. But it's cool, isn't it? I mean, like all those uh, buildings and shit, like for the roads and stuff. I mean, it really looks good. It does. Oops. Uh, you can actually see like we're just over flying the A20, uh, the highway that connects the north to the rest of Germany. And in front of us, you can actually, you should be able to see a couple of those uh, airport buildings already at Lager. Lager. Lager, Lager, Lager.
cool thing is like Buddha, I can hear the birds still at this altitude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I didn't I I liked it. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Tower view. So at the moment, I think we have um, at Lager, um, as our own Air Force can't do it, um, um, we've got some of those um, A4s. I think we've got four A4s from uh, Canada. Um, they're, actually, they're actually going up um, as targets for, for like um, our anti-air uh, forces as training. What a waste. Hmm, yeah. It won't be live fire, is it? Probably not. <laughs> That's the lot from uh, Draken that are putting up those A4s, right? Yeah, exactly. The Draken ones, yeah. I've been so to their operation. It's very nice. I mean, they even give us free merch. Cool! Swag. Yeah, they're uh, based out of uh, Lakeland Linder in uh, Florida. That's a little sort of southwest of Orlando. They uh, are they doing the same over there as well, like playing uh, targets and stuff or what? Yeah, they do like red air, blue air, a whole bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, they can do uh, a whole bunch of uh, uh, guided missions. Uh, mm -hmm. have, they have some Gulf Streams, I think, that are kitted out. So yeah. Use them as AEW platforms. Yeah, I think they're doing the same here because we've got two. Um, oh, sorry. I, it seems I'm turning. Turning. Turning now. Turning to the right slightly. Uh, seems that we've got. Um, I don't know if it's Gulf Streams or some other. Civil airplanes are of the same size, but we've got two of them uh, playing targets as well. Yeah, don't know if they're from uh, from Draken as well. Well, Draken uh, bought out Cobham, and the Cobham used to do the whole uh, AEW with the Gulf Streams. So they ah. integrated that into the Draken operation. Yeah, they've got a whole bunch of uh, um, A4s that they got from the New Zealand Air Force. Uh, I can't remember exactly how many they got. I think they bought like 17 for $7 million total, including all the parts and engines and spares. Oh, guys. Like, what a deal. I can't believe it. $7 million, <laughs> that's nothing for like no. that kind of amount of uh, hardware. Ah, uh, looking down at the highway with the the animated car picture. <laughs> it is looking cool. Yeah, because Draken is so close to me, I just chanced my arm and I called them up and they were like, Can I come and see your ship? And they were like, Sure. So, yeah, I got the whole tour of their whole hangar operation dribbled over the uh, Skyhawks there. Very 
right, three miles out to the next uh, waypoint. Which is like an hour or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe two. Yeah, we won't have a bird problem because they, they'll be flying faster than us. <laughs> Tower view, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven aircraft. One and a half miles. Yeah, I don't see the airfield, so I think it's just uh, a math item. Is this is this Echo Delta um, uh, it's a Charlie uniform? Yep. Yep. I could never find it. I flew over it trying to find it. I can't see it. It ain't here. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's not half a mile. And, yeah, I don't see it. Nothing even to indicate any actual limitation. So. Yeah. It's gone and redeveloped. Yeah. Okay. Oh, about to turn and turn to the right. Gary's got it. Oh yeah, der, der Wolf. Oh, oh. Here's not a joy. I think uh, we'll be cutting short as uh, Echo Delta Bravo Papa is a bit far away and uh, I'd say we fly directly to our end destination. Um, I'll do that right now. Uh, you got you'll 20 see minutes. Me, like, you got 20 minutes. Uh, 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 but it's uh, miles away. Look, Mom. I <laughs> is, look, Mom, I make Wait a second. So we got like 16. Wait a second. Let's see. Like 16 minutes. 15 minutes to that waypoint, and then wait a sec. That one is uh, what is a half of the time, so it's like um, bu -bu -bu -bu. yeah. I think we'll be there a little later than like five to ten minutes late. Ramp it up, ramp it up, go up to 110 knots. All right, I'll I'll try 100 knots. Setting up 100 knots now. 100 knots, your mark, sir. Uh! 100 knots. Accelerating to 100 knots. Oh, oh, my head's pinned against the back of the seat with acceleration. <laughs> the wind is rippling my cheeks, and I'm not sure which one. <laughs> and on you, it looks good. Okay, 100 knots it is. Woo -hoo! <laughs> Hit a piano while I was going. Poor hamsters are going, this is animal abuse, you know. 
<laughs> That's a fact. Wow. Wow. Keith, you've got a Klingon. Klingon? Yeah, he's right on your ass. Oh shit, I see him. <laughs> Better a Klingon than a tag nut. <laughs> so you say. Oh, oh, Klingon? No. <laughs> Look at all the airplanes, Mom! That's not only like, looking back, I, I, I see you guys, which is cool, and I see a shitload of pylons standing around. Also windmills. Everywhere. That's one crazy fucker. Let me get this straight. That pilot is Guy Fokker, right? Only on November 5th. <laughs> There's nothing you, do you got red ones. You got green ones. You got red and white ones. You got frickin' black ones. That's pure cause, but what, man? Ferk, they're Ferk. What is the Ferk? Ferk, the Ferk. Whoa! <laughs> trying not to shred his butt. Whoa! <laughs> Looking good, looking good. <laughs> hey, that's inappropriate touching. It's not inappropriate if I like it. So our friends at the route manager told me that we have 10 minutes to the next waypoint. Okay. Say in minuten. Jawohl! Jawohl! Ja! 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 Wrong! Wrong! <laughs> That's my answer. <laughs> I answer for everything. Fuck you. <laughs> I have Geed's tail locked in my subtle embrace. You have to watch the video to figure out what I'm talking about. I think we have different definitions of subtle. <laughs> Touche. Flyby is badass. Very much so. I'm looking over my shoulder to the left. Oh my god, this is cool. Oh, Gary just like cruises through me butt first. I was being subtle. It weren't being <laughs> so gentle. You've been gentle. 
We have varying definitions of the word. I think he meant sucks. What's the word I'm looking for? Not um, supple. I was being supple. Okay. Supple. Supple. Um. Um. Healthily flexible. <laughs> Bam. Okay. Bam. Bam. I thought I was being subtle, but I was being supple. <laughs> I don't remember that word. I can't use it, bro. Ma'am! I'm sure about that. I remember to speak, nice trying, trying to speak Spanish, and someone was complaining to the teacher about words that sound the same in Spanish, and she said, yeah, not like chicken and kitchen. Completely different things, but they sound the same. Uh -huh. Then you have tiny pasta and tiny pasta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, there's a call sign I can dig. Beer 01. And a shop with camel. But not the right one. Exactly. What, there's another one? Yeah. I like, uh,. Uh, what's his name? Lester. French guy. Yeah. Elijah has one. Oh, Lester. Ah, Lester. Eh. Lester the Molester. Yeah, Lester Beer the Molester. Ha! Lester the Molester. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> I've learned this so much good stuff tonight. Lester, Uncle Fester. <laughs> So in real, this is actually quite a nice area with all those little lakes and stuff. Oh, really man. nice. Uh, this whole scenery thing is like, you have taught me the appreciation of urban landscaping, bro. Oh yeah, Berlin. It's like, oh man, yeah, exactly. Well, you know, you need to fly with mountains and forests. Now it's like, with the current scenery, some of the metropolitan areas and stuff, the scenery is just as cool. Mm -hmm. Especially when intermixed with power lines and hills and clouds and cool airplanes. I mean, the thing is, like, flying out, uh, you know, like, 1,500 feet, maybe, um, you can actually go and uh, do some VFR now in, like, yeah. Well, I've been looking all over the place, like, shooting from other people's perspectives and doing crazy shit just having fun it's just like these airplanes are like flying candy with this this scenery yeah it's like right now i'm like off to your uh, starboard side and gary's like closer in is part of me but a little bit behind so we got this like triangle thing so and so i got like three aircraft different colors and and the scenery it's just like damn this looks nice and some little fokker comes flying up it's a little red fokker 100 knots standing and there's fokkers here fokkers there fokkers fokkers every fucking where Current heading is, uh, wait a sec, 242. Dude, that's fucked up. Fucked up. Fuck off. Oh yeah, that's Swan. Swan flying the, the blackjack again. Why the fear of the TU? I haven't seen him about that for a long time. Well. Not since the one that used to destroy the game. Remember back way, in the, way, way back in the mist time, somebody had some uh, big marshmallow man thing that would destroy the game. 
Like, you know, from Ghostbusters? Yeah. yeah. The guy who had to tell me to the wall was actually destroyed. He was hit ever for a hundred miles and then well for that. There was such a thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he, he had a work to the bomb for the bulb. Uh, and then somebody dropped it to save a massive wildfire off miles square and um, it just ground up the hole. Everything within yeah. 100, 100 miles was just like, you're done. And yeah. completely overloaded all, <laughs> all yep. instances. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a good idea. <laughs> yeah, if you want to be a dick. Yeah. <laughs> it's the real nuclear bomb for Fleck here. Yeah, it literally was. Um, the animation was, they had the mushroom tail animation, but then it started a massive wildfire across all of them. And uh, that yeah. <laughs> Alright, three miles out. Next waypoint. <clears throat> and now, uh, um, let's say one o'clock. There's like this little nice town. It's like, it's the, um, what is called? Like the, um, ah, fuck. Ouch, that, um, At a loss for words, brother. I am, and I'm <laughs> looking it up. <laughs> very different. Yeah, the capital. I'm getting old. Seems. No, oh, you ain't seen shit yet. <laughs> I don't want to. I'll, I'll show you old, bitch. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to either. I want to go back and be <laughs> twenty again. Uh, one and a half miles. Um, yeah, that's the capital of um, of like east, no, no, northeast Germany. The state is called Mecklenburg Vorpommern. Sounds like a bad That place. sounds sexy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but that town is actually quite nice. Like, um, you've got like a, a castle, uh, rides. Um, like where those lakes are, and like you can actually see it. You can actually see it. Um, yeah, there's a there's a pretty basic model placed uh, somewhere there. But, oh, one o'clock, two o'clock, half a mile, and then we turn to the left. We're actually overflying an old. Field, airfield here, and I am turning left now. <coughs> it's there, Eagle. It's there. <laughs> I just overflew the town um, uh, before uh, a little earlier, and um, it's actually quite nice. It's like all those buildings and stuff. That's cool. This is our final point, right? It is. Eight yeah, minutes. Practice, practice landing here. Oh, really? Okay. It, I mean, that, that is the field uh, that is, you know, that has been used. It's grass. Mean, that it is. Yeah, but um, it actually has um, a paved um, runway in reality. Hexagonal paving. No. No, 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 no. It's actually, it's, it's a modern, uh, it's modern, uh, what is it like? It's paved. Paved way. No, I was going to say it's hexagonal, but it's, uh, Soviet. The Russian. No, no, no. And the disc is supposed to plane. It's yeah. been like that, Stuart. It's been like that. But they, um, renewed it, like, I don't know, 10 years ago or so. But it's been like that. It's actually an old uh, Russian field. I think that it's actually an old Nazi field. Um, it's been used. Um, yeah, I, I think I wrote that um, on the thread, right? Like they had like the um, the Messerschmitts, the two six twos, and the one six three. I think is it. The Comet. Comet. They had them there. Yeah. They were based there.
see plenty of time. Yeah. You're right. I was afraid. Nah, I'm so good at fucking up that I can help other people. Guess who didn't check the fuel? <laughs> Out of fuel? Did you not refuel at half point, half time? Ooh. Oh, that'd be a problem. So are we landing at Echo Delta Bravo Papa or no? Echo Delta Oscar Papa. Roger that. Magical refueling. Whoa, that is one fast biplane. Yeah, but they they used that field, um, in, I think a little, during the last 10 years or so, they used it um, for training pilots um, of the Lufthansa, for instance and other um, companies as a training field due to the length of the runway. So they, they had like um, a A320s and stuff uh, landing there. And starting. It's actually quite nice, uh, um, like nicely done in, in flight gear. With a couple of planes standing around and uh, some, I think actually there's actually an uh, A320 model being placed. Mr. Voodoo? Yes, may I help you? Could you make a Hatch the Pigeon uh, biplane? Make a what? Hatch the Pigeon biplane. Catch the pigeon. And you know, the pigeon. Catch the pigeon. That's to be a monthly. What can I, I can try. You know, you know what Coach A speed? I know what he's doing. It'll have towers on it, like a big mallet, so you can try and squash things. <laughs> okay. YouTube. What the hell is that? YouTube catch the pigeon. Right. We'll yeah, we'll have to get a YouTube. When they're finishing, we'll have to YouTube it. Just to prove a point for Voodoo and all the kids who have no idea what it is. <laughs> Wacky, Wacky races. races. Captain Caveman made his debut in that. Uh, no. Sounds familiar. Captain Caveman sounds familiar. What Use the Walker model to make a monthly. Three minutes. And uh, we'll uh, uh, we'll do we'll overfly the fields. Uh, turn to the left. And then come in from the east. You can't miss it actually. There's like a big fucking crane uh, being placed uh, I mean, where the tower is. I can see it. You can. Yes. She looks like um, it is paved, Stuart. There's no grass runway. Oh, who was it? Thing that it was. 
Because I won that before that game, but I was like, yeah, I think I saw a paved runway. Oh, this is paved, yeah. There was a grass runway at some point, I remember seeing one of those chickens. Hmm, okay. Right. Can't remember what it was. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> see the length of it. That was a yeah, nice one. So we'll be, uh, let's see, where is it? Um, yeah, we'll actually use the, the, that crane as a as a orientation point for uh, for the for the parking. Well, you can get them under. Uh, um, yeah, exactly. Fuck me! Look at right. this airport, man. It's cool, is that? Yeah. Right, disengaging all the pilots. And um, I'll be overflying the runway, turning left, and then come into a landing. And I'll be trying to, um, yeah, put the plane, park it. Right, there's a, there's a small fence in front of that uh, um, crane, so I'll try and actually park it right in front of that fence. Oh, it's looking good. In the cockpit and then like uh, flying around, seeing all those things, looks good. The town in distance, in the distance. Whoa, that's cool. Some industrial areas and stuff. Nice. Final. Nice following someone that can fly, man. <laughs> Enormous! <laughs> Gigantus! Biggest dickus! Oh no, that's again. <laughs> oh! The joys of landing on a paved runway in this kind of plane. Ha <laughs> ha! I did it! Ha <laughs> ha! If I can do it, you can. Where are we gonna go? The crane. The crane, yeah. The crane. The cr hey boss, the crane! The crane! Whoa, that guy has not got control of his aircraft. I ain't scared. Then he just gets put it out. Nice airport. We're back in 
right in front of the train or are we parked on the garage? Hey look, there's a truck with flights uh, flashing. It's like uh, actually parking in front of that uh, fence. So I'm, I'm on my way. There's a triplane already standing in front of that um, crane there, but I'll, uh, I'll stay here. I've spotted you. You're just to the right of that truck with the flashing lights. All right, park. Stewart hates biplanes, but he flies them like a pro. Yeah, he's not telling us, but he has a smile on his face. That's just because he's been touching Mr. Winky while flying. Uh -huh. Too much information. Oh yeah, hit the fence. Hit the fence. Ah, boom! That'll work out really well. <laughs> Super thanks for bringing that spad, dude. I almost brought it myself. Oh, look at this nice little cir semi-circular parking. <laughs> no, well, it's not supposed to be abandoned. Yeah, well, eh, eh. 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 Oh, that was close. Ha! Ah, dude's in the water! Good. He's Is in he? the fence! Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> Damn it! Who's still the problem to everybody down? I think we are, aren't we? Uh... Then, yep. then kill your engines. Uh, shift uh, left bracket three times. Sehr schön, die wunderbar. Guten Abend, du schlaft gut. Somebody stop, somebody stop coming at the park. Somebody stop coming at the park. Yeah. Thanks for a good flight, night. I hope seeing you all next time. Yep, hope to see you too. Thank, Thank you. Uh, Have a good one, Oscar Yankee. Who's got next week's? I got it. Okay. I can uh, take next week's. Well, well, let's fight about it. <laughs> always, Julie, always. <laughs> no, who else wants it? I'm good. I can go anytime. I'll do it. You're oh. on. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got three of them set up. I'll try doing uh, one of the next ones as well. We've got to come up with something. This was awesome. User More fun. From More fun. fun. Ah, silence. Tweet silence. Who's whose engine still running? I don't know. Not mine. Oh, that might be the. Uh, oh, you know that might be the uh, that flight gear bug. Aww. There's, we don't have a, now we don't have an engine running. No, everybody's off. You're welcome, Flash. Hey, thanks for coming, bro. Okay, I'm going to kill this video. Say goodnight. Say goodnight. Say goodnight. There's a link for you. Uh, Sayonara. Do do. Video link. At the bottom, you speak, you have to watch before you go in. I will, sir. Thank you very much. Nighty night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Nighty nighty. Good night, Voodoo.